Hey, I didn't see you there. Now I'm not just laying in this sexy and seductive pose for no reason. I'm here to get a workout in, and I'm gonna be doing my seven-way hips. What the heck is seven-way hips, you ask? It's also known as the glute medius killer. Basically, the glute medius is a very important hip stabilizer right on the side of your butt or on the side of your hip muscles. The problem is, with all of the sitting and stagnant behavior that we do, it has become extremely weak, and that for allowing us to not have very good hip stability. Not having good strength and hip stability is what's probably causing a lot of your low back discomfort and inhibiting your quality of overall strength and performance. Ugh. What can you do to change that? The seven way hips. So, find a comfy spot on the floor. What we're going to do is each of these seven exercises for 10 to 15 repetitions each. I recommend doing them two to three times per week you're gonna take no rest between each exercise, and after you're done on one side, don't forget that you have the other side to do, all right? So when it comes to being set up, you wanna make sure you're lying completely on your side, not leaning back and not rolling too far forward. Imagine as if you were going to huddle up into the fetal position and then just let your legs roll forward. A good way you can do this is by keeping your palm flat out in front of your body so you bias yourself to not lean backwards. Leaning backwards is gonna put stress on the muscles, not the glute medius, so that for you're not gonna be strengthening the ones that we're here to strengthen. From there, make sure your toe is always turned down, and for the first one, we're gonna simply lift our heel on up, one to two feet, draw back down. We're gonna take this for 10 to 15 reps. Perfect, now after that, we're gonna move our way down to the forward kick. So I'm simply going to keep my toe turned down like I'm trying to point my big toe down, and I'm gonna kick out forward as high as I can without bending at the waist. If I was bending and changing my position, that's an indication that you've gone a little bit too far, and to just pull it back and access a little bit less distance. Once you're set with kicking forwards, we also have to kick backwards. So keeping that toe pointed down, reach that heel behind you and draw back into the center. You won't be able to kick as far backwards as you do forwards. That's absolutely all right. And you're also going to feel it a little bit more in the back upper side of your glutes because those muscles are helping bring your leg backwards. Same thing, 10 to 15 repetitions. After forward kicks, we're gonna go then into forward right into backwards kicks, trying not to rest in between each position. If you're starting to feel a little tired, that's great. And if you're not, try to slow the movement down and make sure you're feeling it right in the top outside of your hips. We're making our way now to V kicks. Imagine as if there's a shape of the letter V out up in front of your toe and out right behind your heel. Toe stays pointed down and we're going to kick up and forward and then kick out and back. Same thing, taking between 10 and 15 repetitions to each position. The final two movements we're gonna have are clockwise circles and counterclockwise circles. So this movement is not going to be as large as the others. Imagine just drawing a 12 inch circle diameter right above your ankle while keeping that toe pointed down. Again, 10 to 15 backwards. Once you've taken it in the clockwise direction, we're gonna send it in the counterclockwise position same thing, taking it slow and the same sized small circle. And there you have it, your seven way hips. Now that you're set with one side, be sure to take on the other one as well. I'm gonna step right out of frame. I encourage you to take a screenshot of this so that way you can take it with you wherever you'd like or send it to a friend so they can experience the benefits of strong stable hips and a pain-free lower back. Thank you, enjoy.